The Navajo Nation Special Diabetes Program presents another recipe. We're going to be making alcat, also known as Navajo cake or Kinalta cake. So to make the alcat, you need to um, soak the corn husk first uh, for at least one to two hours. Make sure that, that the corn husk is uh, moist. Sometimes it's really dry, so you need to soak it. So what we're going to do is measure out about four to five cups of water, hot boiling water. There's one, five, and we're going to put the pot on this side and cover it. This doesn't have a lid, so we're going to use oil to cover it. What I'm going to do is put a pot of water on for the um, raisins and uh, sugar to make the syrup. So I'm going to put that on and measure out the um, ingredient and let this warm up be while I do that. Okay, just put it on medium so it doesn't get too hot. So that's one fourth of a cup of brown sugar. And then we're gonna do another fourth of a cup of uh, raisin. There we go. And while we're making the other, in, uh, the other ingredient, we'll prepare the food and we'll just let that boil. About four to five cups of corn that we're going to use. One and four. First I'm going to put one cup in and then get another half a cup when I need it. Mix it well. Okay, just mix it well into a slur. The water is boiling. And stir it, make sure you stir it. So it's getting thick. Let that cook for a while and we're going to mix that in so you can see the brown color. So. If you're making a big batter you just let this turn it off and let it sit in this um, when it's cool, then you can um, get all the lumps out with your hands and make sure it's nice and smooth. We're going to let it sit for a while, let it cool, and um, just keep it off the heat. And then now what we're going to do is line the pan with the corn husk. These have been soaking for about two hours now, so they're not nice and wet. And we're gonna um, line the pan. And uh, you can use foil, you can just uh, put the uh, batter in a pan like that, just grease it and flour it. But um, I'm doing this because this is this what this is what gives it flavor. And if um, we just um, do it with the uh, 
flour in the pan, it's not going to have uh, the, the natural flavor. So put, make sure the bottom is lined really well. And then the sides, just kind of have them stick up because we're going to fold that down onto the batter. The other reason that you want to have it soak is because sometimes these husks have um, other stuff on it, the debris on it, so you need to rinse those off too. Okay, so now there, that is all lined. Okay, so we're gonna um, put the batter into the pan. So now I just um, fold the corn husk onto the cake. So this one is not laying down pretty well, so I'm going to use some toothpick to hold them in place. And you just don't stab them in straight, you kind of have to make it like uh, a pin. Because some people have a ceremony done where they say that they can't uh, eat things that have been poked. So all I'm doing, trying to get is the um, husk to lay down. Okay, so there's our uh, cake. So now we're ready to bake it for... Um, one and a half hour, one hour and 30 minutes at uh, 425 degrees. And if uh, it's still mushy, then you can cook it a little bit longer. Okay, so this is ready for the oven. Okay, here's our finished cake. So, that is done and we're ready to cut it. There is our cake.